Using the custom gauge block, you can create a gauge with a customized appearance so that it represents what the gauge would look like in a real dashboard. Let's start building a custom gauge from scratch so you can see how it works. First, add a custom gauge block to the model just as you would any other dashboard block. To customize the appearance of this gauge, click the Edit Custom Gauge button. From here, you can change the needle image, background image, and the arc and tick characteristics. Let's start by clearing the background image, needle, and tick labels. And then add a background image of our own. Next, we need to define the arc in which the needle will travel, lining it up with the background image. Since the background image already contains labels and tick marks, we can hide the ones provided in the gauge by making them transparent. We'll add some color to the arc where the needle travels. And last, let's add in our own needle and resize and position it so that it is centered and the tip is at the zero point. Once we're done, we can connect the gauge to a signal in the model and configure the gauge so that the value limits are set correctly. Now let's simulate the model to make sure the gauge is behaving as we would expect. If we build more of these types of gauges, you can see that we can now build the dashboard for the Simulink model that closely resembles one that would be used in a real system.